Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me today. My name is Kelly Increpera, and I'm the Director of Marketing here at Panera Bread. Today, I would like to take some time and discuss um, the marketing plan that will help us launch three new initiatives here at Panera Bread. First, we would like to begin offering drive through window service at several locations. Second, we would like to expand our social consciousness by increasing community involvement. Finally, to stay competitive in a global market, we will strive to enter the international marketplace. These changes will increase sales by a projected 10.72% as we appeal to busy millennials who are socially aware and acknowledge the globalization of the world. The fast casual restaurant that we belong to has been growing rapidly since 1999. In fact, a growth rate of 500% makes this group the fastest growing type of restaurant. Currently, our major competitor is Chipotle. This is because we share the most points of parity with this chain. We both use non-GMO ingredients that are prepared fresh in-house. They too develop partnerships with local farmers, respect the environment, and offer specialized menu options. However, other establishments are entering the market and making surprising strides. Firehouse Sub offers mobile pay, rewards programs, and nutritional data that correspond to their allergen-free menu. Firehouse Subs has the advantage in that it donates its proceeds to first responders. Starbucks is no longer just a coffee shop. The socially responsible chain has evolved to serve sandwiches, bowls, smoothies, and pastries. Starbucks has become one of our major competitors. Surprisingly, even fast food chains are beginning to adopt some characteristics that used to differentiate us from others in the market. They provide nutritional information for all menu items, including premium salads and offering online bill pay and delivery in some markets. The major chain that has been doing these things that is in direct competition with us is Wendy's. Panera must continue to develop a branding strategy that uses a combination of new and exciting elements to stay ahead of the competition. With this marketing strategy, we are targeting the demographic group of the millennials. This group dines with us because they need a fast option that allows them to multitask. Specifically, we are going to target the segment of individuals concerned with clean eating. We appeal to this group already because we do not use meats raised with antibiotics, we offer vegan and gluten conscious menu items, and we allow for menu items to be personalized. Further, the transparency and social awareness of Panera helps draw business from this group. An example of how we differentiate and appeal to this group further is with our children's menu. Even here, fresh and simple items are presented so parents can feel comfortable serving our foods to their children. Essentially, what is missing from the market is an entirely pure menu that can be accessed anytime, anywhere across the globe from the customer's car window or to share with those in need. Panera must bridge this gap to become an integral part of everyday life. One feature that we do have here at Panera is a very wide product line and also distribution that has entered into grocery stores and even online retailers such as Amazon. We have already touched a little bit on the strengths of Panera Bread. The fact that it's fresh, customizable, has technology on its side, and is deliverable. One weakness that we have already touched on is the fact that Panera is domestic only. We have yet to enter the international market like Starbucks has. There are a few more places we need to address. First, our labor costs are growing, in part due to the delivery options that we offer. 
Second, although we have an increase in sales among company-owned stores, sales are declining with franchise-owned stores. These weaknesses give us the opportunity to expand globally, decrease labor costs by opening more drive through windows, and to begin counseling for our franchise owners. We must remain aware of market threats that will continue to be issues for Panera. First, Chipotle, our major competitor, offers completely gluten-free options where we cannot. Second, while fast food can use technology to serve and prepare food, our food is made fresh. Thus, we will always be forced to pay for labor. Finally, because we utilize technology for online ordering and bill pay, this puts us at risk for another data breach. Now that we've discussed background information, I would like to share specific objectives that we would like to accomplish with this marketing plan. First, we would like to implement drive through windows at 100 new stores. With this initiative, we must research how to construct, reduce long lines, and still encourage personalization at the drive through window. The next objective is to open five stores internationally. It will be difficult to ensure that we pick locations that will receive Panera well. It will be also necessary to research local growers and legislation. Finally, on domestic soil, we need to increase community outreach by at least 10%. This can be accomplished by increasing fundraising nights at Panera locations. We must continue to donate our leftover product to the community and open another community care cafe within the next year. Just to remind you, the community care cafe that we have now serves patrons regardless of their ability to pay. To accomplish these goals, we're gonna have to do se several um, segments of marketing research. We need to monitor the national trends, the demographic market, the international marketplace, and also the competition. We are dividing this plan into four main sections, and we hope that you will agree that this is the best way to communicate what we want to establish here at Panera Bread. The first plan will be a reintroduction plan. It will use a combination of television, radio, and online advertising. The second initiative, we'll talk about our drive-through windows. We hope to communicate the drive-through plan through posters and online. Second, third will be our charity and fundraising. We would like to communicate this strategy by brochures that are distributed throughout the restaurants and also online. Finally, will be our global initiative. This campaign will need television, radio, and online advertising. Our action strategy begins in January. We will start developing a commercial to reintroduce Panera to the community and remind them the importance of Panera to their daily life. We will run advertisements on television, radio, and online. Also during this month, the team working on the drive through plan will begin demographic research and developing construction plans. In February, posters will be placed in store windows, indicating that the drive through windows are coming soon. We will devise a sales promotion to entice customers to utilize the drive-up services. One thing we have discussed is maybe doing a rewards card for drive through patrons. Next, in March, each store will begin distributing brochures for fundraising efforts. A team lead from each store will become a community liaison working with local charities. After two months of reminding the community about Panera, extensive research will begin to determine which international markets we will enter. Also in April, Panera will begin a transformational appeal to demonstrate the presence in the community and to show the lives that have been changed by Panera's giving. May will begin a large advertising appeal to introduce the international openings on television, radio, and online. 
We will also complete a full review of the drive through windows to determine their effects on sales. Further review of fundraising efforts will take place the beginning of June, and the location with the most interest will be selected for our new Community Cares Cafe. Also during this month will be the launch of online surveys to gain feedback regarding all of the recent changes we have made with this strategy. The marketing uh, department appreciates the budget, budget you have awarded us of $250,000. We will use $75,000 of this for the reintroduct and reintroduce and remind campaign, which we expect to generate a profit of $3,750. We will use $40,000 to advertise the drive through windows. $25,000 will be utilized for community outreach. We believe 750 additional dollars will be generated from fundraising nights and $2,500 will come um, from actually donating to the community. $100,000 will go towards the international expansion with a profit of $15,000 coming from that in this first year. Finally, our follow-up surveys will use the remaining $10,000 and will generate a profit of $800. The entire campaign will bring immediate additional revenue of $26,800. This number will continue to grow as more location and features open. We will determine the success of this marketing plan by first examining the return on investment. A positive return on investment will allow us to open new locations and implement more drive through windows. To determine the success of community outreach, the minimum level of engagement must be monitored. We are requiring a 2.5% increase in fundraising night sales and a profit of $10,000 internationally. If these goals are obtained, further expansion can begin. Finally, customer feedback will be monitored offering gift card drawings to participants. In conclusion, I and my marketing team hope you will take some time to review this plan. We are here to answer any questions, concerns. We hope to listen to feedback and collaborate with many of you on any changes or suggestions you might have. Thank you.